Hey guys, Filippo here. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, again, once again, never too much, we talk about skin tone. So I got a really simple um, pipeline here, really simple notary on a C-referred pipeline. And I just want to talk about a specific method with a new implemented uh, OFX from the newest DaVinci Resolve 17 releases. And I will be attacking skin just by using this power window tracked really, really simple scheme. And I'm gonna add a parallel and I will work with this uh, parallel with two OFX. The first one will be beauty and the second one will be texture pop. Why do I want to use this one? Because with the texture pop, I just want to refine my skin in a really gentle way. And with the, um, with the beauty plugin, I want to just add back some texture uh, and blend it in a parallel way. Then I will be using this brand new OFX plugin to merge this together and create a really great um, final output and final effect. So let me start with Texture Pop. So I will be with Luma Chroma and I will show the final result. I'm gonna crank this to 100% just to see that in a better way. And I will be using the operating mod Advanced. So with this, I just want to find the right spot from my pores and also I might say a better frame. Let me just check. This one is good. I see those pores here and I can attack it. I just start by exaggerating and I just want to spot differences. So on the medium we got something, but it's not the kind of spot that I'm looking for. On the course, not that much. On the raw, not that much. Maybe I will be attacking the small, fine and tiny regions. Yes, that's the one I want. And fine, let me check this. Exactly. And tiny. So let me just go on the final result. It's already pretty good. Let me see before and after. Pretty good. I just want to attack a bit more. Maybe the medium. Yeah, these ones are for sure in the medium. And I'm fine with it. I want to exaggerate it for the tutorial, so this is okay. Tonal range is fine to me. I don't want to you know, take time for this. You know how it's done. Then I want to go on my beauty and just on the advanced method, crank back a bit of the texture. So in the texture recovering, I will add a bit of a texture, just a touch. This is great because it will be adding some texture just on um, this portion of the image by carrying my alpha. And in the same way by Jumping back on my texture pop, I can just erase some of these nastiness from the chroma with, you know, the coarse and rough because these are on bigger spots and maybe with the medium. I, I used to see, you know, bigger dodges here and I am just cranking this off with the chroma details. So again, the texture bit less, let me see. Pretty good job. A bit more, let me exaggerate it. As you can see, this is adding a lot of texture. So I just want to work with this a bit and also with the threshold. Yeah, a bit up. And it is fine to me. So maybe for the YouTube compression, you're not seeing that much of a difference from this, but actually this is like graining our image. This is like adding some texture to, to this recovered uh, skin. And now we got a really game-changing plugin that has been had on our latest um, DaVinci Resolve update, which is called Custom Mixer. So the Custom Mixer, I want to drag it right here. It's the exact same thing as, you know, having a layer mixer combined. So. You can just combine more than one RGB input all together and just decide to blend the input two into the input one as you want. So in this way, I can just take both my input 
and just decide how much I want to blend it one into the other. So with this one, I can actually work in something that is blend from, uh, I might say the layer mixed method or the offset method between my um, two nodes, my two correctors, and I can decide to attack just specific areas. So let's see in this case that I want to leave my composite mode as normal, but you will have to know that you can also change it on other different methods. And the great thing is that I can uncheck the gang here. I can just play in a custom way where I just point out safe zone here for the reds because all our details of their blood and our skin are here on the red channel. Okay, let's crank this a bit down. Let's see before and after. And I want to maybe crank it on a midway like I might say there. You also got a second way to use it, which is the combine. And with the combine in the same way, you can just combine the first input with the second one. So that's why I said that it might work as a layer, you know, not mixed with the uh, key output. So everything merged together in a single OFX. And you also got the offset. So if you want just to offset one single channel from both of this, you actually can. What I want to do here is just find a sweet spot for the input shoe where I got my texture recovery. So I want to maybe crank this a bit down and maybe from there as we spot from the inbit one and compensate this with my offset so i'm gonna gang the offset so as you can see this is a really brand new technique with a brand new ofx that will help you blending um your i don't know your custom uh correction for skin tones but it will be for whatever you want and will help you just delivering one single output in a really custom way. This is not, I might say, a new method because you can do the exact same thing with layers or just with um, other correctors. But in this way, you will have everything blend in one single OFX. And it's really handy to have also the offset and everything here to just create a really custom output. So as you can see, we got the before without the custom mixer, just bypassing it. And this is the after, so just a blending of both two where we also correct a bit of the offset. Really great OFX plugin that will help a lot building uh, less structured node tree because any one of us wants a really structured node tree. And that will also help us delivering a really refined and fine-tuned image. So thanks again for being here, I will see you the next time.